Hello everyone, this video looks at listing cart functionality in Paragon. Paragon has a feature called listing carts. A listing cart is a listing number or MLS number holder. Agents and brokers can have an unlimited number of listing carts as they would like. Each of your contacts have a listing cart in Paragon automatically. Listing carts can have automatic notifications set up for the listings inside the listing cart. In Client Connect, the listing cart listings are branded Agent Picked. Let's work with listing carts in Paragon. I'm in Paragon and I'd like to take a look at my listing carts. Easiest way to do that is come up to Search and by clicking on Search with the left mouse click, move down and over to the right and click on Listing Carts button. As you do that, your listing carts will be displayed. Notice that I have displayed only those contacts that actually have listings in listing carts or I've asked to do things with listing carts. You can add notes to the listing carts also. Let's take a look at how you would do that. So by selecting a listing cart that doesn't have a note, I'm going to come up and click on Add a Note. As I click on Add a Note, this field comes up and I can then type in the message I want. So I've typed in the note or message body that I want Homes near Blue Springs High School, and I click on OK. That note is then added, and notice the green confirmation rectangle that always displays when you save something. Now as I'm working with this, I could add a listing to my listing cart. So let me come over to a listing cart, Paul and uh, Patty Jones. I'm going to click on Add Listing. As I do that, a field opens up where I can type in the specific MLS number I want to add to this listing cart. Having typed in my MLS number or listing ID number I want, I simply click on the OK button in the upper right hand corner and notice the green confirmation rectangle indicates I've added a listing. Also note that there is a number in the field under number of listings. As we're here on the field number of listings, I can, like on the market monitor and other places inside Paragon, like on the contact spreadsheet, click on the number and see the listings associated with that particular listing cart. Now I can, if I want, I can create a brand new listing cart. So I'm going to come up and click on Create New, which allows me to create a new listing cart. And for this, I'm then going to type in a description for this new listing cart. I've typed in the description, Stone Creek Comps, and this is one of the listing carts I'm going to use for myself, and I'm going to put listings in that would be great comps for subdivision Stone Creek. With that label in for my listing cart, I click on Save and the listing card is added. Again, notice the green confirmation rectangle. Now if I wanted to, I could come in, add a note to the listing card. I've also noticed that I've got a listing card here that I no longer want to use. I'm going to use this one for Sam and Sally Adams. It was a mistake, so I've selected it and I'm going to click on Delete. Paragon confirms, do you really want to delete this listing card? By clicking on OK, it is deleted. If I didn't want to delete it, I would then click on the Cancel and it would not have been deleted. Notice again the confirmation rectangle, the function I've taken care of. There are some listings inside Ben and Betty Anderson's listing cart that I want to make some notations on. So let me go ahead and click on the name of the listing cart. And notice that I have the three listings that are there. Over on the side, notice I've already got some notes that are there and click on the notes themselves. As I do that, I've got this information here. I can continue on adding other details. So I've added some notes to my particular listing and by clicking on OK, that listing information gets updated. Let me go ahead and click on Close. And for Ben and Betty Anderson, I actually want to set up automatic email notification. So by checking the box for the listing cart, notice in my toolbar it says Notifications. By doing a left mouse click on Notifications, I'm now brought into the point inside Auto Notifications where I can choose what style of automatic email notification do I want to use. I could use the simple email or I could use Client Connect where the client can go out and manage their listings, classifying them as favorites, possible, reject, adding notes, and even putting the listings into different folders. I recommend this one because it allows the client to be interactive, plus when I'm on the contact spreadsheet, I can see the details of their activities as they're looking at their listings. I can add listings to the listing cart right here by clicking on Add, and it would be the same process as I did before, typing in the specific MLS numbers I want to add to the particular listing cart. 
There's another way of adding listings to a listing card. I've already done a search for single family detached and I'm looking at the results. For these results, I've decided that I want to add these additional listings to the listing card for my client. So I'm going to move up to save and notice I have several options. The third one down is save to listing cart. So as I click on save to listing cart, Paragon gives me this option of assigning these listings to whatever listing card I want. First of all, Paragon asks, what do I want to assign? Is it the four that are selected, all that are in my results, or the last one I clicked on? I'm going to use the four that are selected. Now with the radio button selected for myself, I could add it to my own specific listing cart, or coming down, I could add it to my Stone Creek listing cart for comps. If I want to give these listings to one of my contacts, I choose Contact, and then I choose the name of my contact. By typing in Ben, notice how Ben and Betty Anderson appear. By selecting the name, I've now selected Ben and Betty. If I want to add these to Sam, typing in his name, I can then choose which Sam I want. I'm going to use Samantha and Steve Holmes. So again, I can add the same listings to multiple listing cards if I wanted. If I needed to, I could create a brand new contact by clicking at the bottom. I'm going to add these listings to Ben and Betty Anderson and Samantha and Steve Holmes. By clicking on the Save button in the upper right hand corner, those listings are added and notice the green confirmation rectangle that I've added those listings to my listing cart. Another way to work with contacts is by working in the contacts module. So by coming up and clicking on contacts, moving down to view and manage contacts, I open up into my customer spreadsheet. And as I mentioned just a minute ago, notice here I can see the activity of my clients that are using automatic email notifications. So I can click on the number, I can look at those particular matches. Now let's come in and uh, set up automatic email notification for Ben and Betty Anderson. I'm going to come over click on the plus sign. That now opens up where we have both a save search and my agent recommended contacts or agent picks. By clicking on recommended, notice I come to the same spot where I can choose a simple email notification or my preference which is Client Connect where it's a dynamic interactive website for my buyers and also I can monitor what they are doing. While I'm here, I can click on the number and see those listings. I can also see how many have had changes, the date created, and the date modified. So a lot of good information for you as you're working with your listing cart. For more information about how to use automatic email notification for listing cart, check out some of the videos that we have, not only on automatic email notifications inside uh, Georgia MLS's videos, but also check out the Paragon help site for different videos relating to automatic email notification searches and other functionality. I want to thank you for watching this video on listing cart.